So you have all your evidence for your argumentative essay, but how do you organize and order evidence prior to drafting an essay? In this lesson you will learn how to organize your information for an argumentative essay by using boxes and bullets to prioritize evidence. Let's review the steps for writing an essay. We started with choosing a topic, we went and developed that topic into an argument, then we went and found supporting evidence, and now we're in the planning phase. You want to spend a lot of time on the planning phase so the drafting phase isn't as frustrating for you. So let's focus on this. A common mistake that writers often make is that they have lack of organization, which leads to a weak argument. Let's imagine a house built on a foundation of concrete. Imagine that foundation of concrete is a strong topic, and now you're building your evidence on top of that strong topic, that strong argument. Well, what happens if you don't know how to put together the house? What happens if you put the walls you know, backwards or the roof on the bottom? Well, it doesn't matter if you have a strong uh, base of concrete, a strong topic, if you don't know how to put together all the evidence uh, to build your house or build your argument. So let's take a look at the steps that are going to help us build a strong argument. First, we're going to write your introduction in boxes and bullets using claim and reasons. Then we need to make each bullet of your introduction a new box in the body outline. And then we'll add evidence for each body paragraph as bullets. And finally, we need to ask, do I have enough evidence to make my argument, to make my strong argument, or do I need to go back and add more? So Maybe we'll add some new evidence and order for the strongest argument on an as-needed basis here. Let's take a look at how we use boxes and bullets to organize an essay. Well, think of this as your, your, basis, your basic skeleton for your, whole, um, for your whole essay. You have your claim and thesis, and then you have body paragraph number one, reason number one, and so on and so forth. Reason number two is going to be body paragraph number two. So my claim is that more people need access to clean water. Well, here are my major reasons, and I need to say, hmm, can I reorganize these at all, and what do I want to lead off with? Well, how about I talk about, in terms of reorganization for an effective argument, I want to lead off with how many people are without clean drinking water. And then which one do I want to go with next? I think lack of sanitation causes environmental health problems. I'm not even just going to talk about clean drinking water, I'm just talking about clean water in general. And I think I'm going to go with economic systems last because it's the most difficult. And now that I've led into it, the reader can better understand why economic systems are damaged. So how do I use the boxes and bullets to organize my body paragraphs? Well, body paragraph number one is reason number one. I take my claim and I turn it into a topic sentence. And then I here's my supporting evidence and pause if need be, if you want to read that. So I have my, my topic sentence along with evidence, but now I need to ask, do I have enough evidence to support this major reason for my argument? I'm going to say no, because I want more evidence to make my point even stronger, that there's an urgent need for clean drinking water in Africa. So I'm going to do some more research and add these two facts. So that brings me to my next step. Can I better organize my evidence? Very rarely are you just going to write down your evidence in the most effective order possible. So now I need to start questioning here. And I'm getting lead off with this. Less than 1% of the world's fresh water. Ooh, less than 1% of the world's fresh water? I know there's not a lot of fresh water to begin with. And I'm going to talk about the magnitude and, and the problem that, that this causes for a lot of people around the world. Then with my fourth and fifth points, I can move into Africa and point out that Africa is the hardest hit by this. Now maybe you're going to go with a different order. Maybe I'm going to go with a different order once I start writing. But that's all part of all the, the writer's choice and what you feel is most necessary for your argument. And it can always be fixed during the revision stage. So let's review the steps. First we figure out how to use the box and bullets for the supporting reasons. Then we went ahead and used the body paragraphs and finally uh, we had to ask do I have enough evidence to make a strong argument for my thesis and we added new evidence and ordered for the strongest argument. In this lesson you learned how to organize your information for an argumentative essay by using boxes and bullets to prioritize evidence.